Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Working on our project build of our 2001 EasyGo TXT. Today we're going to be installing a mods tower top as well as a rear seat assembly. I'm Jeff, welcome to Cart Crazy. episode I was undecided of what I was going to do with the roof and the back seat. I thought about reusing and rebuilding the back seat. The more I looked at this cart the more I liked it. It's turned out really really well. Um, I do I did I should say decide to go ahead and order uh, what they call the mods tower top which is the same as what I put on my personal cart. That's what's in these five boxes so the two there uh, are the rear seat frame and cushions and the rest of this is going to be the framework for our top. So we can get that all on here, get the nice seat assembly mounted in, and we'll be able to uh, hopefully button this thing up, maybe today even. So let's tear open these boxes and see what we got. So just like the last tower top that I bought for my precedent, um, no instructions. and. You know, that's probably okay because I usually just throw the instructions away anyway. Um, but this is kind of the main two front pieces. Um, underneath here is going to be uh, like for your rear seats. These are your roof pieces. There's, I believe, three or four sections for the roof. The canvas top and then the rear arms that would go on the back for the rear seat. So we'll start uh, taking plastic off and see if we can make sense of all this. Well, that didn't take long to run into a snag. Um, my thought process was I would get all this on and then I would work on my rocker panels, not realizing that that bottom piece actually kind of goes over the top of the rocker panel. So, uh, gonna have to stop right dead in my tracks and get these rocker panels figured out. What I did, and I don't know if I've showed you before, I actually bought a uh, diamond plate rocker panel covers. Let me grab my plastic. So these are the original EasyGo plastic um, I guess rocker panels is what we call them and they'll go on something like this. Jordy wants to help. And then what I did is I bought the aluminum diamond or yeah I guess they are aluminum diamond plate covers to go over the top. I can't do this one-handed but what I'm finding is these are in pretty rough shape, which is fine because they're going to get covered anyway, but I may have to take the heat gun and kind of reform those, trim some of this gouged plastic and stuff off. It just doesn't pay to go buy brand new ones when they're just going to get covered anyway, so I'll work on that. So just kind of test fitting this, I have to do some more modifications, uh, a little bit more trim work, but this will all bolt up and this cover, that's what I was telling you about, goes over the factory plastic cover. That's going to look a lot better. That way when we put our mods tower top on, that mods comes all the way down and butts up against this. Hopefully it doesn't stick out too much where it's going to want to dent that when we pull everything tight. I think it'll be okay. It's, it's not very thick. It's uh, pretty pretty lightweight aluminum, so just doing a little bit more, and then what I'll do is I'll take this off and I'll paint this, because this is kind of dull under here, and you're still going to see that just a little bit. So I'll give that a quick little touch up. Okay, so it's uh, about, I don't know, 400 hours later, but... Um, did a couple things off camera. I had to run down to the, uh, the Home Depot and get some nuts and bolts and hardware that I didn't have. They didn't send the hardware long enough that I could find for our tower top uh, bolts to go in. So I had to get some of those. I picked up some stove bolts for the rocker panels. 
course they didn't have black so I may leave those chrome or hit them with the magic marker but I've got that all bolted on. I had to get that on so that I could get uh, the tower top because the tower top comes down and butts up against there. So we'll see if we can get that on now. Well that actually looks pretty good. Um, I've just got the bolts semi-tight there so that that gives it a little bit of give so we can put the rest of the top together. Um, I've got to come over here and do this rocker panel and kind of repeat the process and then the rest of it should go pretty quick with the exception of the back seat. Well with a little experience that side went a lot faster and uh, I will have to get under here and get a nut down there. It's kind of right up against the frame but we can work around that. So yeah, we'll get our other upright on here and we can start putting the rest together. Alright, got that one on and I think my next step because of the way this goes and I don't have any of the instructions is going to be pull this rear seat kit out of the box. I believe that should have instructions. Basically you use the seat um, bottom frame. You don't use any of the side assembly but you use the frame, the cushions and the rear step and the rest of it is all the mods piping. So I'll pull that out of the box try to make sense of that and then hopefully we can kinda connect the dots here. So I got the picture book out uh, being this is my first easy go. Uh, if this was a club car I could probably do this blindfolded with one of my arms tied behind my back but this is a little bit new territory although it's all similar uh, so I just glancing at the pictures here and a couple of the words it's talking about remove uh, the factory hardware, the factory top uh, yep that's done so basically what we're trying to do is get I don't know if you can see this if it's glaring get these brackets in um, where the old factory seat bolted in and then get these uh, pedestals. We're trying to build a platform for the, uh, the cushion and the cargo area to rest on and then that all kind of ties together. Then when you get to the next page it talks about you know the handrails and things like that. Not going to be doing any of that because our handrails are all incorporated with our mods tower top. So literally don't use any of the handrail hardware uh, in this process because not that I'm going to throw it away because I'll probably use it for something else but it's definitely not going to look like that when we're done so we'll show you as we go along. One quick problem I forgot about um, when I redid the battery tray those supports actually use the same hole as our bracket for our seat and I noticed this earlier and kind of forgot about it um, when I redid the bracket for the battery tray it got moved over just a little bit in welding and whatnot so the bolt doesn't want to quite line up just right so I'm going to massage this a little bit with a die grinder make that a little bit bigger so that everything will line up perfect well that didn't take much just needed a little just a little bit. That way these bolts and everything will drop in there just perfect. So here we go. So there we have the platform kind of sitting on there and um, nothing is tight. I've just got everything loose and the reason being everything is slotted and there's a good reason for that because when I mount my part of my tower top up, I don't know if you can see this with me holding it one hand, but the angle is just all wrong. Well, because everything's slotted, I can line everything up just perfect. So leave everything loose, that way when you go to pull everything together you can kind of line it up and then tighten everything down.
making progress. I uh, when I did this kit on my club car, these two side posts, uh, right and left, didn't matter. Uh, you could put them on either side. And this one, I think it matters because nothing is lining up. So I'm gonna have to pull that back down. It's not a big deal. But yeah, for the most part, it's going together pretty good. Um, I did have to shim, I don't know if I showed you that, on the front, just a couple of washers, just because of my metal plate and my bolt, and everything was just a little bit off. But this is aluminum framing, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. It does have a little give to it. It's not super thick, obviously. So hopefully that doesn't give us too much grief putting everything together. Got to put the footrest on yet, which is in one of these boxes, the seat cushions, the canvas, but I'm going to pull this back down and flip these two around, do a little dosy do with those. Hopefully everything will line up just perfect. Making progress. Um, got the loop in that needs to go in uh, this is the holder for the back seat that goes right there did find another bag of hardware I was scrounging for hardware and in the bottom of that box uh, was a whole nother big bag of hardware so I found oh here it is right here um, yeah should have plenty of uh, nuts and bolts to finish this I'm not going to need nearly that many but that's because of course we're not using all of that kit this is a combination of two kits. I've probably said that three times already, but um, so everything is still loose. Just working on button everything together. I did flip these around and everything lines up a lot better. Um, so that should be fine. But uh, yeah, just a matter of kind of like a puzzle, you know, putting everything together. And before long, we'll tighten everything down and throw a canvas on here, see what it looks like. Thought I'd let the camera charge up a minute and I got quite a bit done. Um, does take two people to get that top on there because you have to stretch it and then line the zipper up. Uh, good thing my son stopped over just at the perfect time because he helped me and we wrestled with that for about 10 minutes but we got it. Uh, got the seat back mounted. I did get these mods. These are a custom custom, well I guess made to order type of seat. You can get different patterns and things for those. Uh, I kind of went with a more traditional uh, look on this one. Probably a complaint I would have. Um, not a ton of support. It's just that one bracket. Um, it's kind of kind of floppy in there. If I was going to keep this cart I would probably redo this bracketry. Get some more stability up in here. Um, you know it's probably okay for me, but for someone that eats, you know, maybe a few more cheeseburgers than I do, that might have a tendency to not support the way it should. So, other than that, um, I'm just buttoning up. I got the brackets here for the rear seat back, which is going to go on. The bottom seat, which is right there, of course, will go on here. Um, ran into a couple of snags. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you before I forget. Pay attention on these bolts for the tower top. There's different lengths um, of these inner uh, spacers, I guess we'd call them. So when you're putting your bolts in, if you don't have the one with the right spacer, it's going to stick way out. Did not realize that. So, of course, without instructions, that's one of those things you got to kind of learn on your own. But um, pay attention when you put it together. You want the ones with the shorter spacers on the top. The longer spacers are more for some of these other brackets. So the other thing is, for whatever reason, this bracket is fighting me. I had to do a little die grinding here to get that augered in. Dog wants to help again. Sorry about that. So we're going to run an extra bolt through here. I actually need to do this on my other cart as well. It must be a common problem. going to run an extra bolt through there and uh, kind of draw that all together. That's for the footrest. This side's not too bad. It wants to pull up pretty decent, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, you know, get an extra bolt through there and just kind of stabilize that a little more. This is still loose just because I'm still working on the footrest. 
but very happy. I undecided on what to do with all these red caps that came with. Um, you know, we could do like a a teapot, eh, with kindergartners or something. Uh, we've definitely got enough of them, but those are on every one of those aluminum tubes when they come in shipping. Whew, I'm out of breath. Okay, having lots of fun. Just about got this one buttoned up. I don't know, did I show you all the steering wheel? Maybe I did. I got that done off camera. I uh, need to button up the dash yet. I was kind of waiting because they're supposed to be sending me the USB port that wasn't in the box. And also um, a battery meter that was also not in the box. So it's supposed to be sending me that. I do have to get my rivets across the dash yet. My rivets for my seat holders. So lots of little piddly things. But man, oh man, have we got a lot done today. It uh, It's looking good. I know that hard to get a good look at it here in the garage but um, really super happy with the way this one turned out and just gonna keep chugging away here and hopefully have this one buttoned up maybe today yet even I think I probably said that already but um, it's gonna be close we're, we're right down to the wire so we'll keep going Just look at it a second. It has come a long way from the, uh, the old green bean we brought home on the trailer. Got the seat all mounted in off camera. I added that bolt, like I was telling you, for stability and to bring these brackets in where they're supposed to be. the flip seat all done. It's kind of neat. This is the first time I did uh, the mods where I actually used the cushions. They got the the logo right in there. That's kind of neat. Um, yeah, still a couple things to button up. Uh, I managed to break my brand new rivet gun and I don't have a spare. So I've got to do some rivets there. Still got to do something with that key switch area. It's just kind of sitting in there. In fact, if I bump it hard enough it would probably fall out and the brackets for the seat um, I don't have those done yet but there's our lithiums our steering wheel headlights turn signals still undecided if I'm gonna put that cover I probably will there's a shop cover that goes in there I gotta paint that black and that'll kinda of dress up that front instead of seeing all that steering That'd be a nice cover that goes over that, so I'll probably do that yet. Yeah. Very, very happy. Um, two things I'm not happy about. Um, try not to bore you to tears here, but um, I mentioned it earlier. This, this is kind of a flimsy seat bracket. Um, I, if I was keeping this cart, I would definitely do something with that. And this floor mat is just terrible. It doesn't lay in here real good. Um, I would probably do like I did with the rest of my carts and get one of those, I think it's called Extreme Mat. You can get them on Amazon or any of the golf cart places. Um, and they basically lay over everything. In fact, they come out a little farther, so it would come right to this edge here. I may still do that with this one, but just not happy with that for the money I paid for it. Um, I think it was a little bit more even than just that extreme mat, but you have to have something down underneath, and the old one was shot, so I had to do something there. But if I had to do it all over again, definitely use something different or a different company or something. But And it may come around a little better with some heat if it was warm out. You know, it's mid-November here in northwest Arkansas, so it's not super warm, but if it was a, you know, a hot... Summer, summer sunny day we could put it out in the sun and it would probably help but I've worked on it with the heat gun anyway like I said not to bore you to tears but I definitely don't like that and I would definitely do something different with this bracket but otherwise happy with the the mods seat kit happy with the mods tower top happy with uh, the seats the mod seats those were pricey I'm not gonna lie but you know what we started with was basically trash so we had to do something I couldn't get just cushions I couldn't get just covers I basically had to buy seats with the wood bottoms 
and unless I wanted to wait two months, which I didn't realize this project was going to take me this long, I could have got a little bit less expensive option, but nonetheless, they're nice seats. Um, it does have the cell phone pocket in the front, which is handy. Um, but yeah, I am very well pleased. Uh, I haven't driven it in a while. I took it out last weekend, um, but I'll probably do that a little bit. I do have to plug, um, get my battery charger receptacle. Uh, that's pretty easy, just a couple of bolts and then two wires to the battery, or th uh, three wires to the battery, I guess. Two to the positive, one to the negative. But there you have it, folks. That's probably going to do it for this episode. Don't know if there'll be another one on this or not. It's basically done. And uh, we'll be getting on to the next project, with, which is a 2010 precedent that I have named the Intimidator because it's got a number three on the hood. And we'll get that one started here shortly, but just soak this in for a minute. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.